Libra, Libra, welcome to Sag and Sun if the crown fits. Let's see what messages Spirit have for you today. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for my Libras? My Libras. Okay. Oh, my God. Shout to the heavens with happiness, baby. I just saw two, 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 two. Something could be significant about February. Okay, but let's see what this is. Whatever this is, is going to make you, I'm talking about, wow. Yes, look, lie back, rest, and relax, child. I, I picked this up in y'all, uh, in another reading for y'all. Literally, someone is going to come and ask you to move with them. This person going to be asking you to quit your, or you could quit your job if you wanted to. Okay, you're going to definitely have, look, beneath the surface lies a great bounty. All is possible. Lie back, rest, and relax. Now, <clears throat> when this person comes in, because I see somebody who they may, this this could be someone you know. For some of you, you know this person. For others of you, don't. Um, they could be a little guarded. But the reason this person was very guarded with you is because they could be very wealthy. They could be very wealthy, okay? And so maybe there's a lot of people who only want this person for their money. Expand your horizons. So I feel like here you are in this boat, for those of you who know this person, and they've been stuck in this box watching you, possibly scared that you only want them for this or that, um, but you're about to move away, right? They about to come and get your ass. That's what they're about to do now. They about to come and get you. Because I feel like for some of you, um, there were some lies told to this person. For those of you who know them, there were some lies told to this person about you that um, just were not true. And I feel like they've, they've been watching you for a while. And they know they're about to miss out. But yes, yeah, some of you may not know. You, you may have thought this person was just regular. No, I feel like somebody's about to find out. That the reason this person behaved the way they did is because they really was successful. This person could even be rich. They got a lot of money, okay? Beneath the surface lies a great bounty. So, I'm also getting, don't judge the book by its cover. Because whatever this is, Libra, that's coming in. It, and, you know, this person might just dress normal. Just normal shoes, normal t-shirt, normal jeans or whatever. But no. This person is successful. I'm really picking that up, okay? So, all right, you have tower at the bottom of the deck. So, let's see. <coughs> What's going on for my Libras? What is going on for my Libra Collective? Knight of Wands. Yeah, you know, this person could have came. They could be a fire sign. I feel like it was in and out. You could have thought them to be a player. But with this Ace of Cups, this is somebody who really does. They really do love you, bro. Um, I don't know why I said bro like that, but... Some of you, this person could have been in that player energy. I don't want to settle down right now. Uh, I'm just out here having fun. But look, they in this Four of Cups. And that boat is getting away from them. And I feel like you're that boat. Okay? So something's about to come out of the blue. Yeah, with their four of pentacles, I really do. This is going to be a very specific, possibly for one Libra. Somebody hid the fact that they were very successful. And it's because, you know, they try to fight people off. They don't know if people are really going to be there for them or they want what they got. You know what I'm saying? And I really feel like people could have, this person here could have tried to keep the two of y'all apart by telling lies. Somebody told this person lies about you. Okay? So, yes, there's a Libra here who is really going to be, you might move out to the country or move out by the water or something like that. You're going to have a lot of extra time on your hands because some of y'all ain't going to have to work no more. I'm telling y'all, this is what I'm feeling. I picked this up for you before. 
Look, I cannot make it up. King of Pentacles. Y'all know the King of Pentacles is very successful. Okay, so wow. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. I feel like all this person do is work, watch you online some type of way, looking at your social media or whatever. And they ready now. This person's ready to commit. The King of Pentacles is loyal, dependable, reliable. Um, they are financially stable. Yeah. So they may have left your life as a Knight of Wands, but they're coming back as a King of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. Period. Because them just being so defensive is they're they're single. They still lonely. They may have, you know, other little options, but none of them compare to you. It's like they blocked the wrong one. Okay? A uh, magician here with the Ten of Cups. And the nine and so yeah, this person is scared. They tell themselves a lot of stuff that ain't true. I feel like with this chameleon right here, they tried to blend in with other people. Something like that. This person's family could have been telling them shit to keep them stuck in their head. Oh, she only wants you for your money, blah, blah, blah. Some of y'all didn't know this person had no money because they hid it. Look at this. I like the way this is depicted. Some, how would you know that this person had all of this treasure when all they was giving you was hot ass dragon bread? <sighs> You didn't know they had that. But this family somehow convinced this person that you knew. So, yeah, they just focused on work, Eight of Pentacles, but then watching you online some type of way. And with this Eight of Wands, it's kind of giving obsession. They would obsessively watch what you post, what you talk about. I mean, I don't know, child. For a long time, but now someone's ready to invest in you period <clears throat> okay what else we need to see yeah indecisive going back and forth in the head is this the right person are they gonna love me are they gonna use me maybe they got done wrong by someone in their past i don't know i just really feel like it's their own family who could be a queen of swords this could be an ex or this could be their mom an aunt somebody who really it's almost like the Queen of Swords only wants this person's money, but they got to make this person think that everybody else is out for their money, you know? This could just be a friend. And they'd be like, oh, I'm just trying to look out for you. I'm I'm trying to protect you because I know these bitches. They only want this, and especially that type. They only want you for what you got, you know? Ew. Whatever. I'm picking up like a queen of wands, so I feel like this person was highly attracted to you. They really did care about you. But that nine of swords, somebody had got in this person's head. Five of swords is jealousy. It's mind games. It's manipulation. Yeah, this queen of swords, yeah. She did that. He, this could be a man. Whoever the queen of swords is did that shit on purpose. I feel like this king of pentacles could be seeing that now. And so look, ace of wands. Brand new beginnings here. Yeah. Where there's an ending, there's a new beginning. I just, maybe it's something that you, because this, there's this eight of ones keep popping out. Something about online. So, uh, maybe you became successful online. Maybe you got your own business or something like that. It's something that they're watching. And so, if you're successful and independent taking care of yourself, then you couldn't possibly only want this person for their money. You know what I'm saying? It's really sad because here's someone who they had a lot of passion for you and love, but the Queen of Swords managed to talk this person out of their Ten of Cups. And they're about to miss it. Yeah, you are this person's better half. This is who they want that brand new beginning with. King and Queen of Pentacles. But I'm telling you, it's like somebody running against, racing against time. They about to miss this opportunity with you because it's been a long time coming been a long time coming y'all mm-hmm <clears throat> yeah this person they are gonna eventually come to you with some type of apology they see it okay they see it now that you are their ten of cups you are on their level you are the queen of pentacles and they the king you can take care of yourself just like they can take care of themselves now they might have a little bit more i don't know 
But uh, you on that level, and they know they owe you an apology. Period. So it's up. It's going to be up to you. You're going to have... I told y'all I was getting that Queen of Wands. This person was highly attracted to you. And so that could be why the Queen of Swords said what they said. Oh, yeah, them type of women, shit. You're going to have to end up paying their bills and all kind of stuff. The Queen of Wands get that rap sometimes. They really, they highly attractive, so people feel that they're gold diggers. Some of them are, but I feel like in this case, this person was wrong. And that's why we got that Five of Cups. They was wrong. Okay, it's all been illuminated. You are actually this person's son, happiness, abundance. And they do have it all, but they're miserable. Look at this. And money can do that. It go to your head. And you're surrounded by people who constantly telling you, oh, they only want you for your money. They only want you for your money. So here you are. You got everything in the world, but you ain't got nobody to share it with. And that's that's not a good place to be. Somebody won't love. Ace of Cups. Okay? And that's a yes card. So, look at this. Person in love. King of Cups. Now, shit. Ain't love with you. This person is a damn emperor. Okay? They lied to you. Yet they did now. They lied to you about their money. They regret that. Okay? But with the Eight of Pentacles and Six of Wands, see, I do feel like some of y'all empresses are online. Also, what I'm getting with this Seven of so if you're online, this person communicates with you. Wow. What? Let me see. I'm going to look at that. But the, they do. They sneak and talk to you online some type of way. All right, now I see Eight of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. I just really feel like this was somebody who was scared to commit to you. All right, so Spirit... Look at that. Told you. This person got a lot. They got a lot. Both of y'all in the same energy. Empress is focusing on her Eight of Pentacles. And this person was focusing on their Eight of Pentacles. Let's see. What's this Seven of Swords, Spirit? It could have just been the fact that they was holding back. That they had it like that. Okay. Look at this. Ace of Cups, Three of Swords in the reverse. Um, for some of you, this person needed to heal from something. But what I'm picking up with this is that your love healed this person. Your love, the Ace of Cups, healed this person from something. Because that Ace of Swords, they, they were scared. But now, you know, they're coming out of this stubbornness. And they're getting more in their king of cups, more compassionate energy. And I feel like they're not allowing whoever that queen of swords is to put shit in their head no more. Yeah, because they went within. I feel like both of y'all been in hermit mode working on your purpose. But it's something about your love. I mean, y'all know the empress gives life. This person say you're their son. Okay, happiness and abundance with that ace of cups. So your love helped to heal this person, make this person ready to love again, because they wouldn't. They were determined not to, and somebody around them was helping them stay. That Queen of Swords is the kind of energy that be like, fuck people, men and women ain't shit, blah, 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 you know, keep people low vibrational. Not all Queen of Swords, but in this reading, that's what I'm getting here. And so, um, it could have just been a friend to this person. And so, if you keep someone in a hurt space, they, they're not going to move forward, right? But I'm telling you, because they were stalking you online or some shit, something about your work, your love done healed them. And now they're ready. To love you forever. Hey, love now. Come and love me forever. Okay. What else, spirit? Ooh, what else for my Libra? 
Five of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Yeah. They left you out in the cold. And they like watched you. There's a boat right there. And they watched you. Damn near sail away. So now this is like this person gonna have to chase you. This connection been stagnant for a long time. Mm-hmm. But with the magician here, I feel like that's what they're doing. They're manifesting a new beginning with you. <laughs> Look, they about to reach out to you. For some of you, this person does talk to you online some type of way with that seven of swords. Okay. But, uh, ooh, I just got that real quick. Okay. They think they talking to you. They're not. That Queen of Swords done did some, some tricky shit with some type of communication. Yeah. But you know what I'm getting? It, it is working in your favor. Hell no. Let me tell y'all. Okay, Four of Cups again. I don't know what the Queen of Swords has done. She could have um, hacked your account or created a fake profile. And so this King of Pentacles is thinking that they're communicating with you. But they're not. But let me tell you what she did. She told this King of Pentacles that you was in a relationship. They don't want to miss out. So that's what's going to make them chase you. Some of y'all single as hell. Empress with the Nine of Pentacles. This person's single too. But Empress with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, what she did was it had an adverse effect. Okay? Because they don't want to miss out. They don't want to lose this opportunity. Yeah, they're not talking to you. They're talking to the Queen of Swords, child. I told you I can't make it up. They go from being stuck in their head to coming to get your ass. Oh, my God. Yep, bringing in justice in the situation. There you go, Libra. Baby, I'm telling you, that Queen of Swords, he, that's who he was really talking to was the Queen of Swords. And so here you go way in the front, and here he go right here. He about to chase your ass. Spirits got him to go do it. Some of you, this person could just come to you and propose. That's how long they've been watching you. King of Cups, Ace of Cups out here twice. They know they love you. They know they want to be with you. They view you as they Ten of Cups. But something that this Queen of Swords said in some type of communication made this person think that you was with someone else. But they don't care. They're going to come and fight for your ass. Mm -mm. There he go again. Yeah, this is what I'm getting now. Somebody determined, like, fuck that. I don't care who you got. I'm, I'm willing to fight for it. What the hell? Ain't no telling how long that Queen of Swords been acting like they was you. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling what all she done said to the person. Tried to keep y'all apart. My God. Yep, she was definitely doing it. I can't make it up. She was definitely talking to him. Mm, mm, mm. But anyway, they're leaving something behind. They're leaving that shit in the past and they're coming towards you. And you see that pinnacle in this person's hand? For some of you here, this person is going to ask you to marry them. It's just the truth of it. Um, let's get some romance angels. Okay. Okay, spirit. Look. Ah! This is at the bottom of the deck, y'all. When y'all gonna start listening to you, girl? Huh? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, engagement. I know what I be feeling. That was the whole reason I grabbed the deck. <laughs> okay? They had to release that Queen of Swords. She was too motherfucking nosy. Uh, doing too motherfucking much and like i said with this retreat they're definitely gonna ask you to go somewhere with them possibly travel or something like that but with this lie back they might want you to quit your job child i don't i don't know why i keep picking that up I told you this person was very passionate about you they listen to that damn queen of swords so yeah very soon okay it says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now because 
we saw that two of pentacles kept going back and forth back and forth they couldn't stop watching you they're like obsessed with you but i feel like it's something with the communication with the high priestess somebody could be doing with the pisces but this person thought they was talking to you and they what somebody now created a, a fake profile with your profile picture on it Okay, and probably said, I don't know what the fuck. It don't matter because it's actually making this person get up. Look, and then honeymoon. Child, listen. Anything else here? For the leapers in the house. Yep, give this relationship a chance. <laughs> they don't care who you with. They about to come and ask you to, to give y'all relationship a chance. Work on y'all partnership. Okay. Yep, separation in the, I don't know why that's in the reverse, but it is. I feel like they don't want to be apart from you anymore. Because the card says separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. But it came up in the reverse. Because they want to come out of separation here. Yep, they're about to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and what? Honestly discuss their feelings with you. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. All right, Libras. Libras. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Ain't it sad, though, that motherfuckers have to be sneaky and do some bullshit like that? That's what that Queen of Swords is doing to y'all's connection. Because she knew. See, this King of Cups probably was telling that Queen of Swords how he felt. Mm. So, anyway, I'm going to get y'all a message from Spirit. Shout to the heavens with happiness. This is amazing, and it's coming through. And so, like I said, somebody whole base shock about the change. Home, career, and finances. Your ass is going to be relaxing. Might be traveling. Okay? Ooh -wee. I wish I was a Libra today. Okay, Spirit, what's going on for my Libras? For my Libras, past life issue. Yeah, that karma. They had to release it. <clears throat> they had to release, cleanse, and detoxify from this motherfucking karma in order to get on their life purpose with you. Just period. So, Spirit said, when this person come back in, take the opportunity to forgive. Okay? Yeah, see only love. Because they really do love you. Ace of Cups twice with the King of Cups. They got a lot of love for you, but this damn karmic was doing the fucking most. And if you got to cleanse and detoxify, they let you know this motherfucker was uh, toxic, okay? So it says, this situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from the past experiences. And that's exactly what they're doing, releasing this person. Mm-hmm. Getting on their right path. With you, boo. Some of you guys could work together. Okay. Workshops and seminars. Teaching and giving speeches. But some of you, remember what I said, your work, the Eight of Pentacles 6 of 1, if you are some type of teacher online, some type of speaker, that's how you were able to help heal this person. Your love healed them, period. And they want you. Okay. All right, Libras, baby. That's what I got for y'all. Listen, I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Till next time. Bye.